Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back. Uh, interesting episode today. So 24 hours ago, it looked like Canelo and Plant was about to be announced. It looked like a done deal. And uh, now something's gone sideways and uh, it looks like the fight is dead. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, to keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. We did a show earlier today on Mixed Combat Radio with my co-host, Matt, the Hipster Hunter. Uh, so check that out on uh, MCR Radio, uh, on YouTube, and wherever you get your podcast from. Um, please also like our other channel, Texas Boxing C, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So help, please help us get that channel monetized. All right, let's get into today's episode. Um, look, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this fight's not dead. It's far from dead, and it's going to happen next on September, whatever it was, 17th, 18th, whatever it may be. I really think this fight's going to happen. Um, so apparently Plant has complained or backed out uh, because of some demands that uh, Canelo's team has made. Um, the demands are a lot, but you have to remember who you're fighting. Uh, let me just read it, it to you. And I'm going to link this below. This is from ESPN. It was always agreed that, they, that this was a unification. No match for either fighter. Toward the end of negotiation, they asked for a rematch when they lose. No problem. You can have the rematch as well. I just want to fight. Plant told ESPN. No argument about money or any stipulation. Besides the one-way rematch clause, uh, which Plant said he, he had agreed to, there was also the matter of ring size. Uh, in the end, Alvarez got a 22-foot uh, ring. Uh, the initial news of the star fighter had other ridiculous requests. One that is absurd, if I get injured or sick, then he gets a late replacement for the same amount of guaranteed money. But if he gets sick or injured, then we got to wait for him. The plan added, we're at seven and a half weeks from the fight. Uh, we've lost valuable time that should have been spent promoting and drug testing from a fight of this magnitude. I question whether legacy of money is the real motive. We've been waiting for him to get done with his wedding, shooting his TV show, his golf tournament, and now they tried to give him everything he wants and more to make this fight. I'm more than willing, able, and ready to fight Canelo Alvarez on any date. Those are the real facts. If anyone says something, uh, if anyone has something to say differently, we have the paperwork to prove it. I'm not, look, I'm not blaming Plant. But let's be real about something. Canelo's the A-side, Canelo's the star. You're not. Every fight needs a B-side. Okay, I understand why you don't like the stipulation. If you want the fight, you still have to take... You, you, if you want the fight, you have to take the stipulation. It's not so ridiculous that it's a killer. You don't want it because if you get COVID or you get injured in camp, COVID is the issue, then you don't want to lose the fight. Well, Canelo's not going to lose the date because the date's tied to Canelo. It's not tied to you. Right, so look, Canelo is the show. If Canelo gets COVID, then the fight gets pushed back. If you get COVID, you get replaced. But let me tell you this, Caleb Plant, he still wants to be undisputed. So you're still next in line. You're not going to lose the fight. It's just going to get postponed. A lot when Stephen Fulton got COVID. He didn't lose his title shot. He got it a couple months later. He should take the fight. Look, Caleb Plant can win this fight. I'm not saying he's definitely going to win this fight, but he could win this fight. Um, this is a lifetime, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Look, Jamal Charlo fights on the same promotional side of the street as Caleb Plant. Can't get the fight. He's waiting five years to get a Canelo fight. Um, Demetrius Andre fights on the same side of the promotional street as Canelo. 
can't get the fight. We're waiting for years for the fight. If Caleb Plant can get the fight, I'm not saying Caleb Plant fell into it like it's some accident. Caleb Plant earned it. He won a world title, and Canelo wants to be undisputed, so he's got to go through Caleb Plant to get the title. Uh, Caleb Plant can win a fight. I'm not saying he's going to win a fight, but he can. His skills are, are sensational. He can outbox him. He's a bigger hitter than Billy Joe on the inside. You know, he Carlos just can't steamroll like he did Billy Joe on the inside. And he can fight a smarter fight than Billy Joe did. Caleb Plant can win. Now he's going to be an underdog, and it's unlikely that he wins, but this is not a beatdown. This is not, I don't want to call it a 50-50 fight, but it's a 60-40 fight. It's a fight that Caleb Plant has a real path to victory in. If he wins this fight, that's it. He's the star. He's the superstar. He's a megastar. He is the guy that dethroned Canelo. Like, when, when, when Mayweather fought De La Hoya, at that time, this is like 2006, 2007, De La Hoya was the A-side. De La Hoya was the star. I think it was 07. De La Hoya was the star. Mayweather made every single concession. Because if he beats him, he becomes a star. He made every concession, took the fight, uh, uh, ring size, glove size, um, weight, everything. Mayweather took the fight, beat him, became a superstar. That's what's on the table for you, Caleb Plant. Like, I get that the the demand is not fair. It's not fair. But he doesn't need you. He can go fight Bavol. Canelo's going to get paid regardless who he fights. You need this fight. If you don't get this fight, look, uh, Benavides is right now available. So who who will that leave? Keyron Davis, uh, David Morrell. These aren't – you're leaving a $10 million payday. Uh, out on the side to take a million dollar payday, a million and a half to fight Anthony Durrell. And I'm not throwing shade on these guys, but you need this fight more than he does. Look who you fought. You fought in vegan boots. You fought in a washed up true axe. Look who you're fighting. Who are you? Fighting? If not for Canelo, where's your legacy fight? It's Canelo. Take the fight. Make the concessions. If you get COVID and it does work out. He still wants to be undisputed. He's going to fight you next. You're not going to lose that on a fight. Take it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, do you think this is uh, too much that Canelo's asking? Um, I, look, you guys got to say Canelo's the A-side. Is, is, is this fight going to happen? Is Canelo's demands too much? Is Canelo trying to make this fight so it doesn't happen? Let me know what you guys think. Um, Thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Remember, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors to 8, 10 minutes a day. Please uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. And please subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene, where all proceeds go to te- uh, autism research and recovery. It's very near and dear to our heart. So I want to get that monetized as quickly as possible. Uh, it is June 27th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay.